Welcome back fellow web creators and entrepreneurs. In this tutorial I'm going to cover how to make a clip slow motion while retaining a smooth frame rate. Let's jump straight into Adobe Premiere. To kick things off, I've opened up a video clip that I'd like to apply a slow motion effect to. Begin by right clicking the clip on your timeline you wish to slow down. Select speed slash duration. In the pop-up window, lower the speed percentage to your desired amount. I'm going to reduce my clip to 50% or half of its original speed and click OK. You can go slower, but for best results, I recommend using between a 30 to 60% reduction in speed. Playing this back, you'll notice my clip is now in slow motion, but this looks a little choppy though. To fix this, once again, right click your clip and go to speed slash duration. This time, leave the speed as is, but change the time interpolation setting to optical flow and hit OK. Play it back again, and you'll notice it still isn't silky smooth. The reason for this is because the effects on the clip aren't rendered as indicated by this red or yellow bar above your clip. Select your clip on the timeline, then go up to Sequence, click Render Selection, and Premiere will start rendering your clip with effects included. Depending on how long your clip is, it may take some time to render. Now that it's finished, the bar will turn green and you will be able to see the true optical flow slow motion effect in action. Lastly, but most importantly, open the export media window, control M on Windows, command M on Mac. When you use optical flow anywhere in your project, you may also need to ensure time interpolation is set to optical flow in your export settings. Now you can render your slow motion clip. That's it for this tutorial. I hope you learned something new. Thanks for watching, and I look forward to seeing you again soon.